Hello and Namaste. Welcome back seekers of knowledge. Building on our exploration of Brahman, today we venture into uncharted territory, unraveling consciousness through the lens of science. We'll explore tantalizing scientific clues that hint at the vastness of consciousness stretching far beyond our human experience. Are you ready for this climb? We will begin with the universe itself. We generally tend to think that some random sequence of events gave birth to the universe and by sheer stroke of luck we are here. On closer examination, we find that there is nothing random about it. The universe appears to be meticulously fine-tuned for life, a feat that defeats the odds of pure chance. Imagine a cosmic recipe. The ingredients, gravity, electromagnetism and the bizarre laws of quantum mechanics need to be combined in excruciatingly precise proportions. Just a slight tweak to this recipe, a slight measurement off by a hair's breadth and the universe could have collapsed in onto itself or exploded outward, leaving no room for stars, planets or life as we know it. As an example, consider the delicate balance between gravity and electromagnetism. This balance is staggering, one with 36 zeros after it. One is to 10 to the power of 36. Just a measly 1% difference would have prevented stars from forming. The building blocks of atoms themselves are incredibly fine-tuned. The mass of the neutron, for example, needs to be just right. If it were even half a percent lighter, stable atoms would form, eliminating the foundation of life as we know it. And this fine tuning goes even deeper to the very beginning of the universe. The Big Bang, the explosive force that kickstarted the universe, needed to be incredibly precise. Imagine trying to inflate a balloon. Too much force and it bursts, too little and it remains a limp piece of rubber. The Big Bang's force is estimated to be balanced on a knife's edge. If it had been off by just one part in a trillion trillion, that is 18 zeros after the decimal point, the universe would have either collapsed in a fraction of a second or expanded so rapidly that matter wouldn't have had a chance to clump together, leaving a forever sparse and sterile cosmos. Another fascinating and unexplainable thing about the beginning of the universe is its low entropy. Most of us know that entropy, a measure of disorder, typically increases over time. Think of a room becoming messy as you live in it. However, the early universe had incredibly low entropy, a state necessary for the formation of complex structures like stars and planets. This low initial entropy is a crucial ingredient for life and its presence is a mystery that challenges the notion that universe is random. The chance of such a state occurring by itself is statistically incredibly low, almost impossible. These are just a few examples of the mind-boggling fine-tuning of the universe. It truly is a cosmic recipe gone right, with implications that go far beyond what science can currently explain. You can watch this video for more on fine-tuning. Let me explain why random chance seems unlikely for our universe. Imagine the universe as a magnificent cosmic orchestra. Each fundamental force or constant acts as a unique instrument playing a crucial role in the grand symphony of existence. The violin of gravity governs galaxies, the trumpet of electromagnetism allows atoms to dance, and the intricate percussion of the strong nuclear force holds the nucleus together. But for a harmonious piece, perfect tuning is essential. Now, consider the incredible improbability of this symphony arising purely by chance. First, the number of instruments. There are many fundamental forces and constants, nearly 50 in the universe, each contributing to the overall harmony. The more instruments in the orchestra, the more challenging it is to achieve perfect synchronization by accident. Second, the extreme precision. Tuning an instrument isn't just about getting close enough. Each fundamental force needs an incredibly precise value often with values involving many zeros before a significant number. 
Imagine trying to tune a violin by ear alone. The odds of achieving perfect pitch are minuscule. Then there is the composition required for life. It's not just about individual instruments being in tune. The entire orchestra needs to play a specific composition that allows for life to exist. Imagine out of trillions of notes that can be played by this orchestra, only one song can give rise to life. And that's the song our universe is playing. What are the chances of that happening? This complexity goes beyond random chance, suggesting a deeper design principle at play. The renowned physicist Freeman Dyson captured this sentiment perfectly. The more I examine the universe and the details of its architecture, the more evidence I find that the universe in some sense must have known we were coming. Dyson's statement reflects the awe-inspiring improbability of the universe being so exquisitely calibrated for life. Many people look at the universe's fine-tuning and see evidence for a divine creator, a higher power. While that's a valid perspective, I propose a different way to approach it, through the lens of awareness, Chit. As far as we know, only living beings exhibit consciousness. However, what if there is a more subtle form of awareness present throughout existence? Let's take living beings as our starting point. Consider bacteria, often considered the simplest life forms. They lack complex thought, but they exhibit a remarkable ability to sense their environment, reproduce and even manipulate other organisms. This suggests a rudimentary form of awareness animating their basic functions. This concept extends to the building blocks of life itself, our cells. While individual cells don't possess human-like consciousness, they demonstrate an awareness that guides their complex tasks. They respond to stimuli, grow, replicate and eventually die. Imagine billions of such cells, each with this basic awareness, working in perfect harmony to create a living organism like you and me. This highlights the power of collective awareness in creating complex structures. Interestingly, this principle might extend beyond the realm of living beings. Viruses, lacking traditional hallmarks of life, seem to possess a knowing quality. They target and infect host cells with a surprising purposefulness. This begs the question, can a fundamental form of awareness exist even in seemingly inanimate matter? Perhaps life itself can be defined as a heightened state of this underlying awareness. When atoms come together in specific configurations, their level of awareness amplifies, creating what we recognize as life. As these aware molecules collaborate, they give rise to increasingly complex organisms like ourselves. This concept holds intriguing implications for the universe itself. If awareness plays a role in living beings, could a similar principle be at work in the grand cosmic design? Is it possible that the very same fundamental awareness that governs biological processes is present within the universe itself, similar to how the awareness in individual cells gives rise to complex beings like us? Could the awareness pervading the universe be responsible for the remarkable fine-tuning we observe? Imagine the universe not as a random collection of particles, but as a vast symphony orchestrated by this pervasive awareness. Just as a conductor guides an orchestra, this awareness could be responsible for the fine-tuning we observe, the perfect balance of forces and constants that allows for life to exist. Simple awareness may seem passive at first glance, but in living beings we see a clear shift. When this awareness is heightened, life happens in all its vibrant complexity. This concept of awareness shaping reality becomes even more evident when we look at quantum physics. This strange world of quantum physics reveals a phenomenon called the observer effect. Imagine a world where simply looking at something changes it. In the quantum realm, particles don't exist in a fixed state until observed. They exist as a swirling cloud of possibilities, waiting for the act of observation to collapse this wave function into a single reality. 
the observer effect has mind blowing implications does this mean the observer simply by looking is creating reality itself this suggests a far deeper connection between consciousness and the nature of reality than we previously understood physicist john wheeler took this concept even further when he proposed the participatory anthropic principle this theory proposes that the universe itself might not exist objectively until there is a conscious observer to participate in it in simpler terms the universe might come into being through a conscious process of observation or interaction with a conscious entity while controversial participatory anthropic principle suggests a fascinating possibility consciousness might not be a mere consequence of the universe but a fundamental force interwoven with its very existence this aligns with vedanta's concept of chit the universal awareness that animates all of creation the observer effect in quantum physics adds another layer to this idea it suggests that this fundamental awareness shapes the universe through the act of observation I cannot emphasize enough how uncannily this resembles Vedanta's description of Brahman. In this ancient Indian philosophy, the concept of sakshi or the witness plays a central role. Imagine yourself dreaming. You are completely immersed in the dream world, interacting with characters and experiencing emotions. But who is the one truly creating and experiencing the dream? It's not the dream characters or the objects within the dream. It's you, the conscious observer behind the veil of the dream. Vedanta proclaims that similarly, Brahman, the ultimate reality, doesn't actively create the universe like a potter shaping clay. Instead, Brahman creates by simply observing. We can think of Brahman as the ever-present witness. the vast screen upon which the movie of the universe unfolds the screen itself isn't affected by the images projected on it similarly brahman remains unaffected by the ever changing drama of the universe we often think of the observer as a completely passive entity simply taking in information but this is not true we have explored how an underlying awareness animates living processes Billions of individual cells, each imbued with this basic awareness, work in perfect harmony to create a living organism. This intricate dance demonstrates that awareness is anything but passive. It's a dynamic force at play, shaping the very fabric of life. The observer effect in quantum physics offers a dramatic illustration of this active role of awareness. it shows that observation itself can influence and organize what's being observed coaxing complexity from chaos this profound parallels between science and vedanta's concept of sakshi chaitanyam suggests that consciousness may not be a mere bystander in the universe but rather a fundamental player weaving order and experience into the tapestry of existence I have spoken extensively about parallels between quantum physics and Vedanta. Check out the description for links. I want to conclude with this thought. These ideas, though still speculative, offer a tantalizing possibility. Perhaps consciousness isn't just a consequence of our physical world, but a fundamental player. And this is not the end of discussion, but a thrilling invitation to further exploration. the universe whispers secrets waiting to be heard are we ready to listen that's it from me thank you for watching if you have not already subscribed please do if you wish to be reminded whenever i post a new video please click on the bell icon for reminders if you like this video please like and share it with like minded people until next time namaste